We're joined by Missouri Kansas City head coach Kareem Richardson and student athletes Marquez Harrison and LaBelle Boyd. Coach, can you just start with an opening statement? Yeah, that uh, uh, Utah Valley, you know, they, they certainly have uh, played their tails off all year. Um, and, you know, I thought our guys responded well, obviously, there in the second half and matched uh, and, and exceeded their energy that Utah Valley had the first half and really proud of the guys for sticking with it. Questions? Uh, Martez, talk about that second half you had. You know, really, uh, you've been leading your team all year long. Uh, was really key in bringing your, your team back. You know, just kind of talk about how you felt, you know, getting going in the second half to help you guys get this win. Uh, a lot of it was just from my teammates and my coaches, uh, basically just telling me to take, stay positive the whole game. Uh, it was a rough start, you know, early in the game, finishing around the rim and everything. And coach, you know, and my teammates just told me to stay positive second half. Uh, we went in there, we made a lot of adjustments, and I think that really helped me in helping our team uh, sparking a comeback to win this game. Yeah, Co Coach, can you just talk about, you know, they outshot you, but you, you just killed them on the boards, especially the offensive boards. Just talk about that. Well, I thought that was, a, uh, for us, answering your question about the offensive uh, rebounding, for us, that was a, one of our big keys offensively, um, you know, to, to try to create second and third opportunities for us. And we did a good, did good job, you know, uh, first half we had 12 offensive rebounds. Uh, but didn't convert on, on many. Uh, you thought we missed a ton of layups there in the first half and did a better job, although, you know, only five, but we shot a higher percentage in the second half. And the guys, uh, beginning with Martez, did a better job of finishing at the rim. We were getting to the rim in the first half, uh, but we weren't finishing. And consequently, we finished in the second half and, you know, we shoot 53%. Uh, Kareem, just wanted to get your thoughts on playing New Mexico State on uh, tomorrow night. Obviously, you guys have played very well against them uh, twice this year. Well, uh, <laughs> did you have to bring that up now? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, you know, we just battled our asses off, and I'm just, just <laughs> want to enjoy this one for about an hour. But uh, uh, no. You know, they're obviously they're they're the head honchos in our league, and and uh, we have a ton of respect for them. And you know, we're we're going to get to the drawing board here and and try to figure out a couple things that we can do differently from the first two matchups with them. And you know, I think our guys will feel confidently going going into the game. Uh, but they're 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 certainly a, a tough tough matchup. Is that it? Any other questions? Uh, Kareem, can you just talk about you know, Martez and you know, the way he's been playing this year? Uh, he's played great for you and really helped you in the second half tonight, too. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's been playing, playing well and played well here. But you know, the, the, the gentleman to his right here, Lavelle, has, uh, has really taken a lot of load off of his shoulders uh, with his play. And, and it certainly has freed up Martez this year to, to be able to, to score and do some things. But, but these two guys right here uh, certainly go to war with him, uh, with, with anybody in our league as far as, far as a, a, a duo, a, a guard duo. I think, think they're two of the best uh, in the league. So, so it, you know, Tez has done his job, but, but Pep is certain, we call him Pep, uh, has certainly, certainly helped out with that. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.